What is up, YouTube? This your boy DIY Card coming at you with another video. Today we got a special treat from the good people over at pickpop.ru. And I want to thank them for sending over the shoe. Always, I try to do my best to get the information out to y'all and I'm educating myself at the same time. So this is an informational video. Everything coming from this video is my opinion and my opinion only. And please make sure y'all keep like, com like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If y'all have any questions, hit the comments below. I promise I will get back to you as soon as I can. I do not let anybody comments go without being answered. If I did miss your comment, comment below on this one. I will definitely get back to you. Just make sure y'all tag me, do whatever y'all gotta do. But without further ado, let's get straight into the shoe. Like I said, this shoe came from PickPop. Now, are you? And I'm gonna get this out of the way now for those people that love boxes. I'm gonna go ahead and show that right now. This is my size, size 10. And it's, as you can see, Air Jordan 4. It's gonna be the normal, regular, smeggler Air Jordan 4 box that all the fours usually come in. We got the branding, everything there. Jordan Flight, Nike. Inside of the box comes with the paper. Same thing. Has that right here. And to show their information real quick, because I, I'm moving so fast. This is gonna be a website and their WhatsApp. So you can have that. It will be in the description below though. But this is gonna be a shoe. The infamous white thunder is what they're calling it. I believe they come out in mid August, but this is gonna be the shoe. I don't know how they came up with white thunder, but Hey, that's what they call it. Hopefully it comes with the hang tags. That is a nice little thing on there with the Nike Air, but it does not have Nike Air in the back. It has the Jordan. And I've been pointing these out on all my fours. If your shoe has more than two posts, send it back, take it back, return the sender because it should not have more than two posts if it's not a size 12 and up that i know as a fact now it has to be a size 12 and up to have more than two posts you should only see two on every shoe that is below 12. so as you can see under the netting it has the hint of white the eyelids are white on both sides then it has like, I won't call it a matte black, but it is kind of matte black in the back. Pull tap does work, bounces back. Comes with paper inside. That's pretty normal for retro fours. Favorite insole, it's gonna be Dream Cell. Got the white jump man on the and so got the white jump man here with flight and white too. Infamous Air Jordan on the that is backwards under the tongue with the white. Then you got the black liner. Bottom, you got the hint of white at the forefoot, and you got the white. Jump man again, and I just have to do it. Smell check, no smell. I did not have to let these sit outside, I did not have to hose them down, I didn't have to do nothing. I was able to pull them out the freaking box, try them on, test them out, make sure they fit. They do fit true to size. So, if you wear a size 10, size 9, size 8. Whatever size you wear, you can buy your actual size. Or if you buy upper size and fours, you can do that too. 
whatever fits you. But they do run true to size, just to let you know. It's ooh, gotta be quicker than that. But to let you know if there's any glue lines, I do not see any on this pair. Especially going from the midsole to the upper, which is all black new buck. There's no glue lines, at least on this shoe. Let's check the other one. There's nothing on this one either. Always gotta show that. Make sure y'all see that it bounces back. Same with this one, no glue lines, no brush strokes, and two posts. All the stars are there. I mean, honestly, Pit Pop did a great job on these, especially for it to be black. If there was any imperfections, you would definitely be able to tell going from the white to black. But there's no imperfections at all. They did a really good job on these. Like I said, I think these released in mid March, not March, but mid August. So we still got a couple months before they come out. It's a if you want a black and white shoe, I feel like this is the go to. If you want them early, hit up Pick Pop on their website or hit them up on Instagram. They'll definitely get back to you, get these shoes out to you. Again, there's no imperfections at all. So check them out. Just so y'all can see up close. Let me know what y'all think about these in the comments. I actually like them. Um, that's another black and white pair that I could add to the collection because as y'all see behind me, I really don't have no black shoes, especially black and white. Everything is in color. So again, shout out to Pit Pop for sending these over for me to review. Really appreciate it. Hit me up in the comments if y'all have any questions. Again, um, but that's gonna be it. They did a great job. I really like them. If y'all like them, hit them up on Instagram or head straight to the website. All the information will be in the description below. But your boy is out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for subscribing, commenting, everything y'all doing. Keep doing it. Really appreciate it. It's your boy DIY Card. Checking out. Peace.